you get going, can I say something? Yes, please. Can I say thank you for what you bravely did more than 20 years ago that Bryden and myself can speak our truth and tell our stories? Thank you for what you did. I mean that. Thank you. Bless you. Thank you. We're gay as heck. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of gay as heck people out there. <laughs> they just have to be braver as heck, that's yeah. all. Um, so how are you? How are you here? I saw you on uh, GMA this morning. I know. How do you do that? There's this wonderful contraption called an airplane. Right. You get in that and you just fly out west. And yeah. And yet you have this energy. I know. I, I don't know. know how you do it. Well, so I'm still living off of vacation. Yeah. How long were you year. on vacation? For about two and a half weeks. Amber we were and I, too. Wh where'd you go? Uh, stayed home. Ah, uh, staycation. Yeah. yeah. Those are those are good. Yeah. Well, yeah. This time it was. So where'd you and Amber go? Thailand and Vietnam. <laughs> Had you been before? I know. It was beautiful. I bet. Never been. Never been. I'm, I'm a proud Air Force brat. Love to travel. Never been to that part of the world. It is magical. Absolutely yeah. magical. Yeah, I bet. So you just, what did you do? Nothing? Well, normally I do nothing. That's, oh, that's a tree pod. That's that is a, a tree. That's where we had lunch um, in Thailand. Uh, and let me tell you, this is the first time that Amber and I have taken an extended vacation, just the two of us. Usually we have family and friends who are buffer zones for me, so I can sit at, you know, on the beach and read. She's more adventuresome. So I had to get out, and she said, let's go to lunch. And I go, great. And the next thing I know, we're in a tree pod, and we're having lunch like 300 feet up in the air. It was fantastic. Well, is this stuff cold by the time it gets to you? I mean, how do they get the... They come in on a zip line. I see. Yeah, and it was a great place, um, uh, Suniva Kiri, and it's called No News, No Shoes. Wow. No News, No Shoes. As soon as you land there, they take your shoes, there's no TV. And I said, no problem. No news, no <laughs> yeah. shoes, no problem. Is that easy for you to, because that's your entire I life, know. is just information just kind of flooding you every it. day. I love that. I love uh, being able to give people accurate information and let them make their own decisions. But yes, I can unplug just fine. It really? Real, oh, not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem at yeah, all. Yeah, because I would think that would be really, really hard to, and also when you, when you go home and to have all that information in your head to just go to sleep and let go of stuff. Well, when you get up at 3.15 in the morning like I do, mm -hmm. it's a little easier when I come home to go to bed. But I get up early in the morning, I meditate. I know that you do that yep. as well. We have the same uh, Bob. Oh, uh, Bob Roth, yeah, Bob Roth. he's great. And so it really helps me kind of settle all that, all that information. Because you know yeah. the news cycle, there's a lot going on, but I'm so glad that you settled the, um, the shutdown, you know, how you... The, yeah, yeah that was, I think as soon as this gets yeah, out, yeah, you know, I mean, first they I thought, I saw, had, I, we've seen it, so we're fine, but when the world when sees they see it... it when I mean, they, I, I think that's, I think you really have solved it. For sure. Yeah. If, if the cats can do it, so can America. Yeah. Um, so do you have, a, a, I know that every year you have a new motto for, for what's the motto for 2019? Uh, my sweet sister, Dorothy, back home in Pascasham, Mississippi, she always comes up with a motto. And this year, my life is serene in 2019. So the hashtag is serene in 2019. Oh, that's great. Yes. 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 Um, <laughs> how can it be serene if you get up at 3.15 every morning, <laughs> really? It, it's testing me already. Yeah. Uh, what were you, uh, a week or two in? Yeah. Um, but no, it's just, it's a, you know this, it's, it's a state of mind. Yeah. And I'm in, internally optimistic. And I've always, often said this, Optimism is like a muscle that gets stronger than with use. I say that a lot. Um, so you do, every, every day you do great interviews, but, but what interview have you, did you love the most of, of everything last year? Oh my gosh, uh, I sat down in November. You may have heard of this woman, Michelle Obama. Mm. Yeah, Michelle Obama. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we spent, the day together, we spent the day together in Chicago, went back to her old house, her old high school. Yeah, I and saw that. The, and I, I saw her uh, with you at Costco. I mean, did I you really? Help, I was, yeah, you were, you were really helping her. Well, I helped her. It became a number one bestseller well, without because you. of me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But yeah, I saw that with you spending the whole day with her. Isn't she fantastic? She is. And to see her light up when she's around young people, when she went back to her old high school yeah. uh, and an uh, old dance class that she had been in, and there was a poster of her um, when she was a dancer there but she is just um, she says something so special yeah she really is incredibly special